Hello everyone, welcome back to Agri Farming. Today we are back with how to grow organic cauliflower at home. Cauliflower is known as the most temperamental member of the mustard family as it is quite intolerant to warm temperatures and any changes in moisture. Despite these warnings, cauliflower is a delicious crop that will provide abundantly as long as its needs are met. Cauliflower is a biennial crop meaning that it is a flower plant that takes two years to complete its life cycle. Cauliflower belongs to the family Brassicaceae of the species Brassica oleracea, meaning it is relative to broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, collards, kale, and kohlrabi. Some of the varieties of cauliflower are Snow Clown, Skywalker, Purple Cape or Violet of Silsi, Orange Burst F1 varieties, Alsmere, All Year Round, Emeruit F1, Purple Cauliflower, Self Blanching, Sunset F1, etc. When and where you should grow cauliflower? When choosing the perfect spot for your cauliflower crop, remember that this is an especially temperature and moisture sensitive vegetable. Cauliflower requires full sun for at least 6 hours each day. However, it must not get too hot. At the same time, extended periods for cold is also negatively affect the growth of the cauliflower curds. Aim for an area with your garden that will get at least 6 hours of full sun without reaching over 80 degrees Fahrenheit during the hottest time of the day. Cauliflower crops that are exposed to temperatures over 80 degrees Fahrenheit generally struggle with growth and have undesirable texture. Due to its need to avoid the heat, cauliflower is a cool season crop. We recommend planting cauliflower in the fall. Avoid planting in spring unless you are located in a region with reliably cool summers. If winters in your region consistently remains above 20 degrees, you can grow some varieties of cauliflower through winter for a spring harvest. In addition to its precise temperature requirements, cauliflower plants like nearly all vegetables, require soil with adequate drainage in order to prevent root rot. When planting your garden, be sure to pick an area that has good natural drainage or build a raised bed. Cauliflower is one vegetable that will perform quite well in a raised bed and you may find that the elevated bed better assists you in controlling the size of your crop and the quality of your soil. Now, let's see Preparation of bed. Prepare soil first with compost or manure and gently mix into the top layer only, roughly the uppermost 6 inches of soil. Cauliflower is a heavy feeder and requires a good amount of nitrogen. Adding a nitrogen-rich organic fertilizer at this point will benefit your cauliflower crop down the road. Some sources state that certain varieties of cauliflower can handle slightly alkaline soil or a pH range between 0 to 7.5. We generally say it's always best to follow the directions that comes with your seeds or transplants. But for optimum pH, the soil pH should be between 6.5 to 6.8. Now, let's get into how to propagate cauliflower from seeds. Cauliflower seeds will take approximately between 4 to 6 weeks of growing indoors or in a nursery bed before they will be mature enough for transplantation into the garden. It is critical to keep the seeds moist and warm. You should want to keep them between 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit throughout this time. By doing so, you will encourage and ensure germination. You can either start sowing indoors and then transplant later into the garden or you can directly sow outdoors. But many gardeners recommend beginning cauliflower from a starter plant, available for purchase from many local growers and online retailers as opposed to starting the plant from seed. Transplanted seedlings should be placed 18 inches apart in rows. The rows should be placed 30 inches apart. Do not place the seedlings any closer together as this will result in stunted growth. Watering and mulching of cauliflower plants 
To prevent weeds, after first watering, seeds or seedlings cover the soil with a layer of organic mulch such as grass clippings which will help hold in the moisture. Mulch is highly beneficial to helping cauliflower maintain its delicate moisture balance. After initially watering and mulching, growing cauliflower should only need approximately 1 inch of water per week. Remember to always water the plant at the roots. Avoid getting water on the leaves as much as possible. As with most plants, it is recommended to water earlier in morning so that all water has time to be absorbed into the soil and will not pool overnight. Always take care to prevent the leaves from wilting as well. Now, let's see nutrient requirement for cauliflowers. Cauliflower is a heavy feeder. Make sure the plant is getting adequate nutrition by topping off the soil with nitrogen-rich organic fertilizer every 2-3 to three weeks only during the plant's growing stages. Additionally, you could just apply your own homemade worm castings to the soil. You can also add farmyard manure and compost to retain water into the soil. Once the cauliflower head reaches about 3 inches wide, wrap the innermost leaves over the top of the head, gather the rest of the leaves together and secure gently with cord. Tying the tops of the plant leaves together in order to protect the inner edible part of the vegetable is called blanching, which keeps the cauliflower heads from turning dark and bitter from the sunlight. Arrange cauliflower seeds 24 inches apart in a chest board or egg style arrangement. Plant seeds approximately one half of an inch into well composted and moistened loose soil. Place a net over seeds to prevent birds and other animals from eating emerging plants. Common pests and diseases of cauliflower and how to control them. One of the most common pests in cauliflower garden is the cabbage worm. Hatch from tiny eggs laid onto the leaves of the plant by the white cabbage butterfly, the cabbage worms eat the heads of the cauliflower plants. Cover can provide a physical barrier which will prevent the butterflies from laying their eggs. Another pest that feeds on cauliflower curds is the cabbage looper, one from a moth, a different type of cabbage moth, the diamondback moth, likes to deposit its eggs on the underside of the cauliflower leaves, allowing newly hatched larvae to feed on the leaves virtually without restriction. Cabbage root fly likes to lay eggs in the soil. Generally, gardeners will only notice when their plant collapses because the entire root system is infested with maggots. This is very common problem in brassicas. The easiest solution to control this fly is to create barrier preventing the female fly from laying eggs. The barrier can be as simple as a piece of stiff cloth or sandpaper with an X cut into the center. Position so that as the seedling pokes up through the soil, it will push throughout the material and have a built-in cover around the leaves and stem. Additionally, you can use part of the cardboard insert from a paper towel positioned around the plant stem in the same way. Crawling bugs will not attach their eggs into the fabric or paper nor will they want to cross it. Combining these steps with an overhead row cover will provide adequate protection for your cauliflower or any growing vegetable crops. One disease that often plagues cauliflower crops is known as brown head. The brown head is caused by allowing sunlight into wet curd which forms mildew. This inhibits the growth of cauliflower head. Prevent brown head by keeping cauliflower heads dry and out of the sunlight. Now, let's get into the harvesting and storing of cauliflower. Cauliflower is typically ready to harvest within two weeks of blanching. However, check the crop frequently. Warmer weather could shorten this time, while cooler weather could increase it. Cauliflower should be harvested when the heads are approximately 6 inches in diameter to ensure that the plants does not go to seed. 
When it is time to harvest your cauliflower, use a sharp blade to cut the mature head from the main stem. You will know the cauliflower is ready because the head will feel compact and firm. Length of time to harvest varies but it is usually between 50 to 80 days after planting. You will want to avoid allowing your cauliflower crop to shoot to seed or bolt which happens when growing temperatures are overly warm. This will be obvious because the cauliflower curds will begin to separate and eventually blooms afterward. After harvesting your cauliflower, you can store the fresh florets in the refrigerator for several weeks but make sure that the vegetables into the refrigerator immediately. You can also choose to blanch and fridge the clean and chopped cauliflower florets for later use. After the crop has been harvested, you may pull and compost what remains of the plant as it will no longer produce. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe to this channel and please ring the bell button to notify you whenever new video is uploaded. Thank you for watching.